Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents Time for Tea because there's always some time for tea with Deborah. As you may have seen in the uh, thumbnail, I have my Cats the Original Laptop mug which I got from my dear friend Sue. I've had that for a while. Mm, I've already got the tea in there. The timer is counting down for brew time. And uh, today's tea is actually not from one of my Sips by boxes. Nope. This I received from the lovely Debbie Loves Yarn in Alaska, and this is from Alaska, Tea for Two Raspberry Herbal Tea. And it is from an Alaskan wild tea. Now, here's a little card that comes with it on the inside of the envelope. Real fruit raspberry tea. There are two tea bags in there. There is still one right here. And there's no string on this, so I can't use my little handy dandy clothespin uh, trick there. Uh, tasty red raspberries, hand glistening among thorny canes, their juicy sweetness, a prized treat for pickers. Alaskan rose leaves blended with gourmet quality raspberries add body and depth to the natural fruitiness of this tea. Okay. And it also says, uh, brewing, pour wild, or excuse me, pour boiling water. My eyes are mixing up the two lines. Over tea and let's steep three to five minutes. It's important to stir occasionally. I guess I should do that. A little sweetener brings out the full berry flavor, which I will do with my stevia packet. Uh, brew double strong and add ice for delicious iced tea or make sun tea. Okay, the timer just went off, so that means it's been actually close to four minutes for this, and it does not show very dark. And I don't smell any raspberry, which is kind of odd. Usually with the raspberry fruity teas, it smells raspberry. Of course, my main experience with raspberry tea has been raspberry hibiscus, which also turns the tea very red. This is just a light tan tea. Let's see if I can get that in the shot. Just a little light tan. It's not a dark tea at all, which I would expect, I guess, because it's not black tea. Give it another little bit of a stir, and I'm going to take the tea bag out, because I don't like when tea starts to get, like, super really strong. Just not my cup of, you know? All right, put that on my little plate here, and the generic Walmart brand stevia packet because I know that I'm going to want it to be sweetened. I've tried raspberry teas before. I've tried them without sugar. Don't much care for it. So we're just going to put that in there. I'm going to drop my spoon a few times because that's always a pleasant noise. And I'm going to stir my tea. Tried to cool it off a little so I can take a little sip because if I drink and, and have foods or, or liquids that are just way too hot my mouth burns like ridiculously not just like oh gosh that's hot but yeah like tear inducing burn so we're not doing that I want more raspberry the, the the tea bags don't don't have a scent of raspberry, which I kind of expected them to, because raspberry is fruity and bright and, and everything. It's a nice herbal tea, but I just I miss the raspberry in it. I mean, I want more raspberry, don't you? Granted, it's good. And I normally don't put creamer or anything in herbal teas or milk, but I think I'm going to add some milk to this. Stand by. Okay, pardon the break there. A little, uh, again, with the generic um, sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer. I think this needs a little vanilla added to it as well. Not a lot. Just a little. And we'll see what that does to this tea. Actually, I think that the vanilla and the creaminess brings out the raspberry a little bit more. Who knew? Mm. Now, if it'll just cool down enough for me to actually get a really good slurp in, that would be awesome. But I think that for me, it needed a little bit of that vanilla and creaminess. Um, to bring out the raspberry flavor. It's a very pleasant herbal tea. 
yes, cats, the original laptop. Um, but it just wasn't what I was expecting out of a raspberry tea, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It is caffeine free, by the way, which is a good thing today because it is already afternoon despite the wet hair. Yes, I washed my hair this afternoon. Um, but I didn't want to be up all night. So, yeah. This is a very cool thing that came from Alaska. You can actually mail it. This came in another package if you saw um, a happy mail that I had earlier in the month. You will have seen this come out in that from a package. But yeah, you can actually in Alaska buy this and mail it to somebody. Just mailing them some tea, which is an awesome gift thing, by the way. So, all right. Have you taken any time for tea today? Do you like herbal teas? Or fruity teas? Or both? Do you take your tea sweetened? Controversial among some people. I prefer mine usually with some sweetener. Depends on the tea. But yeah, this'll do. All right, time to actually sip. Hope you take some time for tea today. Thank you for coming by. Um, there should be a link that pops up up here at some point going to my snacks around the world because there's always something fun to eat when you're having tea as well. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.